If someone dictated birth to me exactly point by point, I would actually take some time to think about, you know, whether I wanted to be a mom or not, etc., etc. Welcome to Spill the Tea. Subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any videos. As always, the tea is piping hot. Let's get into it. Malvika Sitlani gave birth to a daughter that she had with ex-husband Akhil and they named the baby Abigail. Malvika has revealed a lot of details from her birth story and has also mentioned that she had a vaginal birth, not a C-section. When Malvika revealed the baby's first name, everyone was speculating whether Abigail would have her mother's last name or father's. Malvika or Akhil ki separation ke baad, agar Abigail ka last name Sitlani hota, Toby, it would have been understandable because Akhil and Malvika are not a regular couple. They have been separated and are likely never getting back together. But Malvika actually took the high road and didn't let her differences affect her baby girl's last name. While she still herself hasn't made any announcement about that, Akhil's dad replied to a comment clarifying that the baby's last name is actually Panjwani. Malvika shared her birth story and she didn't have great things to say about her experience. This is what she said. The first thing you guys wanted to know is what kind of a birth I had. So I'm going to start with that. I had a vaginal birth, uh, but I also had an episiotomy. And that is why it's taken me double the time to heal, more than double the time to heal actually. And there were some hiccups along the way, which is super rare and does not usually happen, but I got it. My ears going well as usual. I can't catch a break, but that's okay. I'm on the healing journey, so that's why I have an IV stuck to my arm and I don't want to see it, so they like wrap it up. But I have to get antibiotics through an IV only for seven days and today is my uh, second last day. I think and tomorrow will be my last day and I don't know, let's see. I mean, the doctor has to check and let me know if I have to continue the IV or not. That is why I'm in and out of the hospital. Yeah, what happened to me was super rare. It usually does not happen. That's what I was told, but it's okay. I'm just uh, ruling everything out and like just healing completely. They're just small hiccups that happen, nothing dangerous or life-threatening, but it's just like we're taking care of some things that happen along the way. And also because I'm anemic, uh, my blood count is low and so that is why the healing process took a longer time and just small, 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 small things that were not leading up to a full recovery, you know, and that's why I had to go in and out. I had to take medication orally and then I had to go in again to get operated-ish. So like that's why I had an IV the other day, you saw me. So I went under general anesthesia again. And yes, I am getting better. I always feel like, you know, when something else over, something else is coming up and something else is coming up. And I'm just like, when am I seeing the end of the tunnel? When am I seeing my complete recovery? When, when will I wake up without feeling pain? Or when will I wake up without having to go to the doctor every single day, right? I'm going to the doctor every single day. So it's just like, I'm seeing a never-ending journey but you know my mind is obviously telling me stories it's in a negative space I have to keep reeling it back in I have to keep reminding myself that it's temporary and it's going to end everybody's healing journey is different everyone's birth story is different um, and I just have to remember like mine is this these were the cards I were given to play and I have to just do it and pass every single day as is and I'm so much better than I was yesterday and I'm healing every day I'm not there yet, but someday I'll get there where I wake up without anything prodded inside me. So yeah, that is why when people say like, why are you cribbing every time? It's like, you don't know my story. Like you don't know what mentally I'm going through and uh, any mom is going through, you know, it's like I haven't been able to hold Abby ever since I had this IV in my hand. I haven't been able to like literally hold her, cuddle her, play with her. Um, I'm limited to so many things because of the IV and my movements are restricted and it's like, you know, I keep telling people how I took things for granted, like I took movement and mobility for granted. <laughs> like you're just thinking, oh, I can sit and I can like move and no, 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 these are precious things that you can do. The fact that you have all your limbs together, the fact that you are healthy, you're, you're, you're waking up in the morning without pain is a blessing, dude. You have to be in so much gratitude to be able to do that and the simplest things what's like opening my eyes out i'm like damn dude i used to be able to take a shower in under five minutes and now i take 35 minutes because i can't function fully trying to keep the spirits going i'm just passing every day i'm just like one more day miles one more day miles one more day you know you just have to do that one extra thing and you have to understand that you're healing one percent more than you were yesterday and you're closer to your hopefully pain-free dream life <laughs> 
and i'm just waiting for that day the day i get on to the other side you guys will know and you'll have me back um yeah uh, abby's going through a sleep regression phase where she is just not able to sleep like you know she's touching her six week mark really soon and she's just not able to sleep she's just like i will stay awake and all of us are like taped up our eyes like this to stay awake but yeah that's happening and you know just a lot happening the fact that i'm able to just do these stories is ridiculously cool because um i know i have to edit my footage as well uh, by the way the vlogs are coming up i'm just taking too long because i don't have a full hour so i do have a vlog that is ready to go i will be uploading that super soon like between like this weekend for sure you're gonna have the first vlog of uh, my labor i'm taking all the way back to my labor and then i'm gonna show you like um you know how it followed through after that like look i took little clips here and there of me just venting and talking and telling you where i'm at and uh, you're gonna enjoy like those are some moments some precious moments i was able to vlog so i did and then you're gonna get a separate like birth story movie um separately i'm still yet to see the first draft but we did film a lot of my birth um that's a personal choice i wanted to film the birth and so i did because i'm never doing this again i want to remember this birth for the rest of my life and abby is the only baby i will ever have and i don't mind that saying that publicly because it is the truth <laughs> she's close to my heart and she's the only baby uh that i'm going to spoil to the ends of the earth but yeah <laughs> i'm really really hoping that the second half of this year is going to be my year or next year <laughs> i really hope 2024 is my year because i'm just allowing this year to pass um in a way of like fully healing physically and mentally i feel like it's already june and we're nearing the end of june also it's like 15th we're halfway there um my birthday is coming up soon in august um time is going to fly girl and i just keep envisioning like my birthday i just keep like envisioning that moment and that's how i pass my ivs that's how i pass every single day in hopes of hey you know by the time your birthday is here you're going to be up and running you're going to be in a bikini you're going to go back to the gym like i have to keep telling myself that because otherwise girl i'm going to lose myself like it's been it's been a long journey dude it's been almost 12 months and i haven't like i haven't got a break Malvika has also shared a teaser of her birth video and has mentioned that she will be uploading a full birth vlog series on her YouTube channel soon. Someone is feeling this intense kind of pressure. Baby's coming today. Oh my god. of my night and my pregnancy and every bit of what i'm feeling you have to know what this feels like some women talk highly of their pregnancies while other women struggle to cope up malvika's experience was not an easy one and she made sure to let everyone know how tough it can be so that women can make the decision of whether or not to give birth what do you think of what she said let me know in the comments below Thank you for watching Spill the Tea. We promise to always keep the tea piping hot. Subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on so that you never miss out on any video.